Hi there Titans, my name is Paige and today I want to discuss with you the switch element and how to make it mandatory and some considerations that you must have when you're making it mandatory. Now this um, switch here can be turned on to be mandatory and when you do that it gives in an asterisk right here. So and of course you can hide the asterisk if you like. So this makes it mandatory. However, something that you should keep in mind is that the switch automatically has a value associated to it. So the switch is going to be false whenever it's not switched and then true whenever it is switched. So therefore, it really has always been answered. There's not going to be a thing that says like it's mandatory because um, with the switch, it's always going to be answered. So if you want to have some type of validation that they have to switch the switch on to continue, then what you'll need to do is have a validation on it. So you can do a value rule, set value rule. If it does not equal, or it's valid if it equals true, error message if when it's not matched, Please agree to the terms by switching the switch to I agree. Okay, so I have the value rule now. And whenever I uncheck it, it says, please agree to the terms by switching the switch to I agree. And that is how you can set up things to not happen until they choose to agree with the terms. So that is how it's done. Uh, feel free to use the mandatory um, uh, feature on this, but be aware of the, um, I guess, the, the standards that are, that come with the switch element itself. So thank you for watching and I hope that this video helped.